Bend's Chamber of Commerce is looking at ways to bring more affordable housing to Bend. Kelsey McGee reports they don't think the recent legislative session provided much help. I want to live on a street where the teacher that teaches at my school can live, um, where the garbage men can live, because we're quickly seeing everyone getting pushed out. Ben DMB, or Yes in My Backyard, advocates for affordable housing. During Oregon's recent legislative short session, lawmakers discussed the state's housing supply, but the Bend Chamber of Commerce doesn't think enough was done. You don't build 36,000 36, homes a year like that. It takes a while to figure out how you fund different pathways that reduce the costs, reduce the obstacles, that increases the production. Senate Bill 1537 originally had $500 million going towards infrastructure. That bill was then split into a few different bills and the funds were reduced. Bend wasn't included in it. It was really disappointing for us. We were pushing hard to uh, get some of those funds our way. The good news is there are a couple of other towns in Central Oregon who did get a little bit of money, but nowhere near where the need is. The towns in Central Oregon selected Madras, Culver, Prineville, and Redmond. One of the most expensive things about building housing, especially in new areas or expanding areas, is putting in water and sewer and broadband and all the things that you need to get to people's homes. Well, that fund was reduced from $200 million down to $75 million. Ben Yimmy believes more housing will cut down on work commutes and benefit the environment. One tree sequesters enough carbon to offset two trips to Redmond. That means if somebody is forced to live in Redmond because it's cheaper and they drive to work for two days, They've already exhausted all the CO2 for a year of tree carbon sequestration. So we'll never be able to get ahead of that if we don't house the people in the communities they live in. The Ben Chamber of Commerce will be back at the legislature next year asking for new ideas and funding. And Ben Yimby is supporting a developer's proposal to build 40 units of housing on Aubrey Butte. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.